In this video today, I want to tell you about the two most simple things that I did for my agency to start making 10K every single month. And these two things are probably one of the two biggest levers that I pulled for my agency back then. And in today's video, I just want to be able to share that with you. And I still, to this day, follow these two principles for my own client acquisition. And my calendar keeps looking like this. So the first most important thing that I did was change my mindset about outreach as a whole. I started thinking of outreach as a whole system with inputs and outputs. And over time, as you start putting certain inputs and gaining outputs, you also have a feedback loop going on. And what that feedback loop basically does is makes your inputs a lot better so you can achieve better outcomes. But what does that even mean? Well, let's take a cold email as an example. This is the first outreach system that I implemented and I still use for my agency today. But if we were to go back, honestly, I was really bad at it. It was kind of crazy. I had my Lemlist account set up. I found some generic email templates, some generic offers. I've got on a lead list of 100 people from Fiverr, and then I just started running that Lemless campaign. I did manage to book one call though, which was pretty surprising to me. But what did I do that made me go from booking one call for my agency to being able to book 30 to 40 calls every single month? Well, I started taking my stimuli, which is my email copy, and my offer presented to a group of people a lot more serious. I'll basically create my offer, create my copy, which I thought would have the best chance of resonating with my market. I would have a list of 300 people to reach out to, and then I would start my test. I would wait for that test to finish. I would look at my metrics, see if I'm within KPI, and if I'm not, I would go back and reiterate my offer and my copy. And the KPIs that I was aiming for was a 5% positive response rate to my email and a 1% appointment booking rate. If I wasn't within those KPIs, that meant my offer or my copy did not resonate with my market. After a certain time has passed and a lot of tests that I've made, I finally reached those KPIs. And if we go back to step one, which is crafting my offer and my copy, you might ask how I was able to come up with a message that I would think had the best chance of resonating with my audience. Well, it's simple. I've done a lot of market research prior to coming up with my offers. And this is probably one of the most important things that you could do for any business venture out there. And this is what's made my outreach system, my cold emails and everything else that I ever tried as successful as they are today. Because I took the time to research my target audience, understand their current pain points, their dream outcomes, what current vehicles they're using to get to their dream outcomes, and if there's any problems associated with that current vehicle that they're using. And I also wanted to find out how they currently felt about working with agencies. Once I got those learnings, I would take them and implement them into my offer and my message. So the most important key takeaway here is do not go ahead and just start copying email copies or offers that you see online and start thinking for yourself. But now that I've done my market research, I've tested my offers and my copy, and I've been able to go within my KPI. How did that get me 30 to 40 calls every single month? Well, I scaled it up with volume and then I outsourced it. So once I hit my KPI of a 1% appointment booking rate when I was sending to 300 people, I knew that if I just send to 5,000 people and if I'm able to maintain that 1% appointment booking rate, I would see 50 calls coming onto my calendar. So that's exactly what I did. I took my winning campaign, I've uploaded a list of 5,000 people to reach out to and I was able to generate 30 to 40 calls for my agency. Any outreach system out there is simply a numbers game. Once you find something that works and is within your KPIs, then you simply scale it up with more volume. But I did know that over time, my copy would probably get flagged by all the prospects that were not interested. So what I did is I hired someone, I trained them and showed them my entire system so they could then take over and keep the wheels turning for that system whilst I go focus on something else. And now if my current winning campaign suddenly stopped working, I would have two or three more to replace it with. So that got me in my appointments and now I had to focus on how to actually close them. And the way I was able to do that is by mastering my own sales framework that got me a 20% close rate and I'm currently actually able to close at a 40% close rate. But how did I manage to get there? When I first hopped onto my first ever SMMA meeting, I was super nervous, I was stressed out, I was sweating, I did not know what to say and I would just blatantly read off my script. Basically, I was just super unconfident and I could tell that the 
people I was on the call with could feel that. But how do you become more confident? Well, it's simply just by repetition and having that feedback loop. So what I did, instead of focusing so hard on closing a sale, I actually focused on how I could make this current sales call go better than my previous one. And I'd also record every single call that I had and at the end of every single day, I would go back and rewatch some of them, my worst one, my best one. And I would basically critically analyze myself about everything that I said on the call, how I asked certain questions, my tonality, my expression, and literally everything there is to gain as much feedback as possible. And this becomes a whole system itself. You're now getting your feedback, you're taking that feedback, you're iterating your process, and then you go ahead and put that input and actually take the sales call and see what the outcome is. And after my first 10 calls with my agency, I was actually able to close my first two clients. Oh, and I completely ditched the script after my first three calls. But why did I do that? Why did I ditch the script? Well, because I simply stopped believing that you can get away with hopping on a call with a person that is potentially going to pay you for your services and you're sitting there reading your Google Docs script word by word. It simply just does not come off as natural. So what I would do instead is I would study the script, I would look at every single question, I would take my time to understand the reason behind asking that question, and then I would develop a framework in my head that then I would take onto the sales call and lead the call into the direction that I would want it to go in. Once I understood the framework, I could simply show up to the call, know what I need to find out, know how I can use that information to pitch my service and how to deal with any objection that comes my way. And this would come off more natural than me sitting in front of my screen with a person on the call and reading off my script because people can sense when you're confident and when you're unconfident. And people want to buy from confident people. So if they sense that you're currently reading off a script and you're not really confident in your ability to sell them your service, then they simply won't buy from you. And speaking of speaking to a person, the last thing that I did that improved my sales ability was to learn the art of probing. I suggest you read Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. And after you're done reading that, go ahead and actually research some of his work. And one concept he teaches very well is the art of probing. And what probing is, is basically diving deeper into the answer that someone gives you to your original question. And simply by implementing probing into my sales framework, I was actually able to get a deeper connection with the person that I'm speaking to and find out way more that I could have if I did not use probing. A quick example of what probing is, let's say John here on the call with me says that he's been burnt out by marketing agencies a lot of times before. That's a very surface level answer. Now what I could do in order to find out more about his experience is I could simply probe to that answer. So John, when you say you've been burnt out by marketing agencies before, what exactly happened to make you feel that way? And then you basically keep going, keep going, keep going until you feel like John here told you everything that he could. So now, finally, to give you some action steps so you can go ahead and close your first five clients for your agency. First, you need to think of any outreach that you ever do as systems with inputs and outputs and a feedback loop. Your goal is to gain feedback from the outputs from your original inputs and then make those next inputs even better. And once you hit your KPIs, you can scale it up with more volume and be able to maintain that metric KPI. The second thing is learn sales and how to actually speak to people. Now, earlier this year, I actually invested $2,000 in a speaking program. And you might think I'm crazy. Why would I want to invest $2,000 into a speaking program? But I knew that by learning how to actually speak to people over the screen would make me a lot more for my business. So these are the two things that I focused on in order to sign my first five clients for my agency. I do have a free training video where I break down the full system of my current client acquisition system. So go make sure to give that a watch. And if you do have any questions about what I talked about today, then make sure to comment down below and don't forget to give a like and hit that subscribe button as well.